What is up, world? I'm Joe Kid, and this is Crush, the 18 and up YouTube channel for weed lovers and cannabis patients alike. And today, it is Monday, so that of course means it's time for another fine installment of Crutch Lazy Mondays. Now, if you're not too familiar with this segment on this channel, it's something we've been doing since the dawn of this channel, where it's, uh, it's just something a lot more like it sounds, a lot lazier. It's just us hanging out. I use this time to sesh with you guys and kind of just be more personal and keep you guys up to date with what's going on in crutch land so you know what's going on in the channel and what to expect in the future and everything. And I also use it as a time to respond to some crutch comments and everything. And today, while we sesh and talk about what's going on, I will be answering a uh, viewer comment that I get all the time, and that is, uh, and that is, what is the difference between a vaporizer and a combustor? And do va is does vaping get you high, or does it get you higher if you, uh, you know, burn your weed? So today we will be comparing the Mega Toke XL and the Lynx Gaia, and be getting really stoned in the process. And I'll be giving you guys my thought and my bit of information that I know on the difference between it. And hopefully by the end of this session, not only will you and I will both be stoned. You guys will feel like you know a little bit more what's going on in this crush world, but you also fully understand the difference between, you know, vaping your weed or combusting it and burning it. So through and through, it's not really that lazy of a Monday. It's we're just kind of, you know, being lazy when it comes to the editing, you know. Normally I have two cameras and I'm trying to try to be really quick with it, and today I'm trying to make as minimal amount of cuts necessary, try to take it slow, and that's where the lazy comes into it, you know. So uh, I guess first things first, gonna open up these chambers of our vaporizers and our combustor. So here's the thing, I always say this wrong. The Mega Toke XL is not technically a vaporizer, it is a combustor. Because it has a coil in it, that's how it burns its weed, similar to like how a uh, cigarette lighter in an old car would work. The coil heats up and it burns the weed. So it's it's burning, it's combusting, it's burning it similar if you were to take a flame to it, you know? But with a vaporizer, and with our vaporizer here, the case is different. It doesn't have a coil in there to burn the weed, it just has a full quartz chamber that heats up. And that vaporizes the weed, you know? So it's not a straight flame burning contact to the weed, it just kind of roasts it. And that's why when you put weed in a vaporizer, it burns for a lot longer and you can smoke it a few more times and use it differently. And I mean, we all know the difference between, you know, smoke and vapor. Two different, completely, completely different things. And I'm not even stoned yet, but I already feel stoned in the way I'm talking. So we are going to get our grinder ready, throw some wonderful tangerine haze from Quality Choice. Shout out to Quality Choice, they hooked me up with some good tangerine haze recently. And I thought this would be the perfect video to do it, where we're smoking and vaporizing, you know, really getting the best flavor of our weeds. So Nug's in the grinder, we're breaking it up. So if you got some bud, you got your grinders, you got your pipes, you got your vaporizers, or your, your combustors, your megatokes, Get them loaded up and let's do this. Let's get our fine Lazy Monday session rolling. Grinding up the weed, we're grinding up the weed. All right, so now that we got our weed all ground up, I'm excited to get our first tokes in of this fine Crush Lazy Mondays. And with the Mega Toke, it's easy to just scoop and load, as you guys can see, I think, here. And uh, we'll just pack some weed in there with our finger, going for a little bit more. And, uh... I'd say that as far as deepness goes, the chambers are about the same between the Lynx Gaia and the Megatok XL. However, uh, the Megatok XL is just a, a little bit wider, a little bit more width to uh, the chamber there for your weed, so you could probably put a tiny bit more weed in there. I'm actually going to use, uh, this is a benefit of the Lynx Gaia the Megatok doesn't have, the Lynx Gaia has a little packer stick here that you can uh, poke down and pack in your, your weed and your little vaporizer, combustor, megatoke thing going on here. So then the megatoke is all good to go. We're going to fill up the Lynx Gaia with the rest of our little tangerine haze that we broke up here. And uh, use the same little packing tool to stomp it down. And we are about ready to get stoned here on Crush Lazy Mondays. All right, and just like that, all our vaporizers are loaded up. So of course, um, like most vaporizers, you click it five times to turn it on. And with the Lynx Gaia, you click it one more time. As you guys can see there, maybe, the numbers are just going. So it's gonna heat up to 425 and roast that weed, you know, it's not gonna burn it like with the coil, like the Megatoke. And with the Megatoke, you just hold down the button, it's a little simpler of a machine, and uh, then you can see the smoke gets going and you let it burn some and then you hit it. So I'll hit the Megatoke first and I'll show you what it's like when you smoke your weed, you combust it, you don't vaporize it. <coughs> I 
Oh yeah. And that right there, my friends, is uh, is a great start to the Lazy Mondays. But that right there is why they call it the Mega Toke XLs, because you can really take a mega sized toke. Mega XL size toe. And then you get high real fast. So because of that, I just burned all that weed so fast. I burned all that THC within a few seconds. All that THC was smoke in my lungs to get me high. And this guy is at 425. So now I can hit this. But as you guys see, it'll hit a little different. Now, I don't know how well you guys can see that on camera, but there's definitely a little bit of cloudage in here. Whew. That was a lot softer. It felt so much better in my lungs. Oh, so visually, that's the difference between, you know, vaporizing and combusting your weed here. But, um, but however, visuals don't mean everything when it comes to smoking. Because just because I got a huge rip of this Megatoke XL that you could see visually a lot of that smoke doesn't mean that uh, I'm burning more THC. There's more THC in the hit than when I exhale the vapor and you don't see the hit visually. Wow, this is hard to explain when I'm high. Great Lazy Mondays topic. Can already feel my brain slipping loose here with this uh, tangerine haze. Let's hit this one more time. I'll try to explain it a little better. So what I was saying is like just because you can see the smoke more than you can see vapor doesn't mean that it's getting you hot. Oh, uh, there, I just said a way, a way easier one sentence. And the reason why I said that it felt so much better on my lungs when I hit this uh, Link Sky as opposed to the Megatoke, because like I said at the, the beginning of this video, in, in stoner, high stoner terms, uh, you know, vapor is a different substance than smoke. But all the time we get asked here on this Crutch 420 channel, does vaping get you higher than smoking weed? And I don't know the for sure answer to that question, but just logically, when I get high and think about it, it seems like it's pretty obvious to say that, uh, you know, if you load half a gram into this bowl and half a gram into this bowl and you smoke it all, there's the same amount of THC in there, so you're going you're gonna to get just equally as high because you're going to be burning the same amount of THC when it's all said and done, right? I think that just, that sounds logical to me. I don't, I'm no expert, so don't hold me to, to that on this fine, lazy Mondays, but, uh... That just seems right to me. And I will say that, you know, there's you know, there's a difference between when you, when you vape weed. You know, vape kind of has a separate vape high where, you know, it feels like it affects your body and affects your brain just a little bit differently than, than smoke does. But it never makes sense to me when I hear people saying that vaping your weed is wasting it because to me it makes sense that you have the same amount of THC to expose to your THC receptors. And in my opinion, when you vape the weed, it just feels it feels way easier on your lungs. It feels like a light a light hit that's not burning the inside of your lungs. Another thing that I'm not for sure about, but I, I'd be willing to bet that you know vapor doesn't get to the same temperature that smoke does. And I think that's one of the main reasons that uh, people say that vaping is is more healthier than smoking. Although it's still kind of a new thing, so you know you don't know the long term effects of vaping. I'm sure this will open a great conversation down in the comments about the difference between vapor and the smoke, and I hope it will because I think I'll learn more. But before I go into it more, let's take another rip here. Your boy just got so stoned so fast. Talking about a crazy, crazy subject. Woo! Lazy Mondays. Duh. And as far as the Link Sky, the vaporizer versus the combustor, the Megatoke XL goes, when you hit the Megatoke, it feels like you're hitting a pipe. It's the real deal. It, it, it tastes like it. The hit feels like it. And to me, it's essentially just it's just a bowl without a flame. And so if that's something you're looking for, Megatoke XL definitely does that. Another perk that the Megatoke XL has over the, the, the Link Sky is because you can apply it to any glass attachment. And because it's smoke, it can go through the water. However, since vapor is water, you can't put vapor through a water filtration system like a bong. So, you can't smoke, a, you know... So you can't smoke a bong with your Lynx Gaia, but you can smoke a bong with the Megatoke XL. Alright, now that we've talked about that for so long and got really stoned here, I'm going to hit this again, hit the Megatoke XL again, and uh, give you some crutch updates. The first thing I was thinking about that I wanted to tell you today here on this fine Crutch Lazy Mondays is earlier today, I went to grab my grinder. Let's hit this. 
where I went to grab my grinder, it was upstairs, so I ran up to get it, and I was being too fast and irresponsibly quick, and I grabbed my grinder, and it was all unscrewed, but still stacked on each other. So not only did I drop the weed chamber and get the weed everywhere and lose all my weed that was in there, but the Keef catcher that I've been holding my Keef in for great Keef videos on this channel was there. Damn shame. All that keeps to the carpet or the, the vacuum now, so rest in peace of that Keef. I'm gonna have to start collecting more here for our for our next Keef adventures. But that's okay because uh, we actually have a bunch of awesome shit planned for this up not only this next coming week, but the rest of this month. You know we've been talking about Crutchmas a lot on this channel. Getting this thing burning so we can vape the rest of our uh, our uh, tangerine kush. So we're gonna be doing a bunch of giveaways this Christmas to you guys, the wonderful subscribers of this channel who deserve it the most. So you guys can be smoking along with what we're smoking on, because all the giveaways are in part with the uh, with the brands of the stuff that we've already used on this channel. So we know that we're giving you crush approved smoking gear. But not only that, you know, we're for sure sticking to this every other day schedule. But this week and probably a lot of times throughout the next couple months, we have so many videos planned that we're going to have every single day videos just in between those every other day videos. So if you're not subscribed yet already, you know, you got to subscribe to this channel, Crush420, so you don't miss all the fun stuff happening. Let's get even more stone. I think I'm already easily at a 9.75. Man, oh, it's so tasty through this. You really, you really can understand the flavor of your flower and the most through a Link Sky. More than anything I've ever tried to get flavor of, of, of a flower through. So that's a huge benefit of the Link's Gaia versus, is versus the Mega Toke XL. And not only does it taste phenomenal, especially this Tangerine Kush, because this is such a, like a, such a fruity, tangy taste that I'm getting here. So not only, not only can you get the taste, but it's also an easier smoke session. Like I was saying, every time I rip a bong, it makes me cough, it makes me make my lungs hurt, but every time I hit a Lynx Gaia, it makes me feel like I'm just breathing some nice THC. Tastes good, it smells good in my system. So in my opinion, the healthier option is the Lynx Gaia versus the Mega Toke XL has a tiny bit of a smaller chamber but you know like I said vaping weed is different than burning weed so you can you can you can turn this on quite a few times reopen it quite a few times to pack it down quite a few times until you see that that, that weed is all killed and you can use that weed for like weed bath rubs and stuff so that's definitely the, a benefit of a vaporizer in general versus a co combustor. And like I said, the Lynx Gaia is definitely my favorite vaporizer that we've ever used here. You guys click there to see the review of the Lynx Gaia. Let me hit this one more time. Woo! It's so smooth. Look at this. I just want the smell in the air forever. I love vaporizers. It's easy on the lungs of people that smoke a lot and have that can feel it in their lungs after a while, you know? So that's awesome. And so then the benefits of the Mega Toke XL, which you can click right there to see the review of, is simply like I said, it, it's smoke, it's not vapor. So you can actually put it through some water pieces. The Mega Toke comes with a little rubber grommet that can fit in any bongs or, or, or dab rig attachments that you have. So you can actually, uh, you know, take a bong rip without having a lighter. So that's kind of cool. Or just like you saw me do, you can toke on it and you can just smoke a huge bowl of Mega Toke XL. You can put more weed in there than Lynx Gaia. So on the go, you can, you can smoke a bowl without a lighter without having to flick the lighter in your car at night because I know sometimes that's an issue for people. So when it comes down to it, comes, it c comes down to preference. And uh, my preference is healthier. So I pick, I pick the Lynx Gaia if I had to choose one on a daily basis to only smoke out of forever. But it comes down to your preference. If health matters, I think you should go for the Lynx Ga Gaia. And if you want to smoke through a water piece, obviously you gotta go with the Mega Toka XL. And I obviously have links to both of these things down in the description of this video so you can check them out for yourself and everything. But I hope that cleared up in your head a little bit between the difference of vaporizing and smoking. Both of them get you stoned, the feeling's a little different, and when you combine it like when I did right now with the Megatoke XL and the Link Gaia, 
you result in a fantastic full body uplifting high that just takes you off the scale of 1 to 10. It just removes you from the scale of 1 to 10 into this huge wonderful high land. So what a great Lazy Mondays. It's lazy as far as just session and you know and the editing and filming goes. As far as my brain goes I felt like I just had to work through a lot of information so it was beneficial for me to clear this up in my head. And I hope it was beneficial for you guys too watching this. I think I hit you with most of the Crutch updates. You know, you guys, you gotta stay tuned for Crutchmas. And you can stay more in tune with that stuff if you follow us on our Crutch Twitter at Crutch420 or Crutch Instagram at Crutch underscore 420. You can stay like up to date with exactly everything going on with that this month. As always, we got all the links to the music on this channel. Shout out to Cooper Hopkins down in the description. And we got my links, all the crutch links, our business contacts, our Twitter, Instagram, it's all down there, as well as our P.O. box if you're interested in sending us stuff. But other than that, guys, I'm feeling great on this tangerine kush. Shout out to Quality Choice for growing such a good nug. But most importantly, you guys have got to stay high. Peace out. Woo!